already in today's class children i am telling you unit number 7 that is second standard in unit number 7 i am going to teach you today that is story about the students obedience they are famous for their obedience and devotion and dedicated students towards their guru here they we have given two stories in this lesson so you have to what listen the story by giving the concentration and the interest you have to show yes how here karna is one student aruni is also one of the student two stories in first story karna is there he is the student of parashurama his guru is who karna is student of parashurama 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 student is karna he is well known for karna is well known for his patience and devotion towards the guru he is well famous for his patience and devotion he is aruni aruni is one of the dedicated what student dedicated student he spends his whole life for guru yes he is obeying the rules so for his obedience and for what dedication for the guru he is well known in the first story here some dictation words are written here endurance means ability to bear the pain ability to face the pain yes sage means saint teacher here wise man bless means giving the wishes for happiness then feeble means low weak yes spade means that is the one of the instrument used in the field or in garden empathic means that is the wall that is the wall to avoid the water flow to avoid the water flow that is called embankment the structure that avoids the water flow that is called embankment here you know the what all these what dictation words with a meaning you got it yes now i am going to teach you story here in the story karna became a student of parashurama karna is a student of who parashurama yes he was known for the patience and his devotion to his guru he was well known for his i already told you for his devotion and patient he is very famous you know the story of mahabharata you heard the name of karna here yes then he is one of the what patient student yes well known student yes obedient student this is a story which shows karna's devotion karna's devotion to the guru here what they did once the guru the parashurama was fell asleep once they are sitting under the tree karna and his guru parashurama sitting under the tree that time his guru fell asleep that time on the lap of the karna the parashurama was sleeping on the lap of the karna he was sleeping he could not change his position he fast asleep he was on the lap of the karna a bee came that time who came the bee came that time by buzzing by making the sound of buzzing it came near to the karna and close near to the karna he could not change his position he did not disturb he did not want to disturb the guru sleep so he did not move at all that time when the bee came near to the karna so he did not change his position because it disturbed to his guru so he was what constantly he was sitting without fearing to that bee that time the bee not only move towards karna the bee to do not move towards the karna but that go and sat on his lap yes it sat on his lap that bee and started to eating the what skin of the karna that bee that time bleeding starts yes that bee bites his thigh and that made the wound to him so blood is what 
bleeding that time started started to bite the thigh the blood ran down towards the guru who was sleeping on the lap of the karna that time blood starts getting down ran down towards the guru then what the he woke up from his sleep that time guru was fast in a sleep then he woke up suddenly and saw the blood is bleeding to towards his body he suddenly wake up and saw that blood what is happened here huh? then what is happened here what had happened the guru was wandered to see that blood that time and struck to see the endurance because he had a what patience karna had a patience patience that blood was bleeding still he was not moving at all sitting what so constantly he don't want to what disturb his guru so saw this what happened guru saw this what is the blood falling here huh? from where it came what happened here he wandered to see this and he what struck to see the endurance of the karna had displayed here his endurance what ability to face the pain because of what guru devotion guru's devotion he had what tolerate the endurance so it is now today also like karna nobody some some only little students will be available in our class like karna all are not huh? what concentrated and interested students who are giving the devotion towards the respect to the teachers patients he faced the what so many problems here his blood is what ran ran down towards the guru's body still also he was not moved at all because he want he don't want to disturb to his guru now here another one story is there aruni this story is in the epic of mahabharata it is one of the epic mahabharata you already know in the epic of mahabharata the special relationship between the what guru and the sorry teacher and the student in between the relation of teacher and the student this story of yeah from mahabharata it, it is one of the special relationship between teacher and students aruni was a what student aruni that is the name of the student here dhamya he is one of the sage wise man teacher aruni teacher is who that is who dhamya dhamya was teacher of aruni here in those days a student had stayed with the teacher in those days mean before days they are using to live in a gurukula that is called gurukula in mean, before days they are used to stay with the what teacher student will used to stay with the home teacher that is called gurukula in before days a student had stayed with the teacher help in the teacher's daily work they are ready to help in the daily work of the what teachers so work in order to gain the knowledge they have to gain the knowledge from the work towards the guru then help one one on one cold winter morning that is the winter season there so many cold will be there that time in one cold winter morning aruni was carrying firewood had collected to the sage household what he was carrying he was carrying so many firewoods to the gurukula one morning that morning yes then that time he was passing by the field when he was bringing the firewood in the forest that time he watched the field passing by that belongs to the sage that field belongs to whom that field belongs to sage he noticed a damage in the embankment which was built built across the river water flow that is called embankment that embankment was damaged that time when he noticed that time it started to what 
allowing the allowing the water forward so he saw that he allowed the water that has been held flow out that was flowing out from the field that time when he saw here he realized that he know that that he know that if the water flow was not stopped immediately what will happen the water is flowing there is a damage in the environment so what i have to do it affects to the crops the flow was uh, not stopping at all the flow was not stopped immediately so what he did the crops in the field what the crops in the field there was uh, so many crops will be there in the field that would die due to the shortage of water if the water is go out all then there is no water for the fields the so it what damage to the it defects to the crops so shortage of the water so he think that what should i do here what water is what flowing he thought one plan i better leave the firewood here only he is holding the firewood in his hand he leave that there only at the gurukula and came back again he go and to kept the firewood in the gurukula in his school and again came back to take care of the damage for to take care of that damage he again returned to field and without telling to his what friends and guru after that he returned to the damage near the damage as aruni came told the master about the damage aruni came and told his master about the damage the sage was very proud of the student after coming back he what he saved the water damage of that environment then he came and returned to the school he told all this to the what teacher he was proud very proud of the student he permitted aruni to go to the field with any delay what he told he told the damage about the embankment then he gives the what the permission to go to the food go to the field with any delay you have to go i am giving you permission you go and repair that embankment he told that time he went aruni effort to stop the water flow was not successful he brought some mud and put on some stones and put on the embankment but if the water flow was not stopped at all his water flow was stopped the water flow was not successful he became helpless now he became helpless now he brought so many stones and mud he put on the embankment but the water flow was not stopped at all lastly what he did he became helpless now after the moment thought he lay across the damaged part where the damage was what happened he lay across the embankment and the water did stop now he lay sleep across the ground to stop the water flow then the water is stopped that time uh, what he did when it became dark it was the night time it was what dark at that time aruni did not return to the school so the sage became worried if he did not return to the what school gurukula then is what teacher dhamya he was worrying about he not at all came now now the night now the night starts the dark will be there the aruni did not came still then he is worrying about the student then he came with his student there he came with the, his student to that field and called out for him maruni maruni he called out wow very loudly loud sound he made aruni aruni where are you he came with his student in the what in the feeble voice they what cried aruni that time he hear he cried the voice aruni answered they quickly removed here he they saw the aruni was what here lay down on the embankment across the water flow
Kuru. They saw that they quickly removed him from where he was. Where he was sleeping across the embankment, he did all and picked up him and took the one blanket and put on to him, covered on to him. The other children assured Aruni that they now would take the care of the situation and wrapped a blanket. He picked up he, they pick out the Aruni from that place and wrapped what? Wrapped a blanket on him and took him back to the Gurukula. From that place they took him to the Gurukula. Sage Dhau may have blessed him. After returning, returning to the Gurukula, he blessed to his what student? You will be a forever remembered. You will be forever remembered for your devotion and obedience towards the Guru. You will be one of the famous students in the history of Mahabharata. Now also, today also, we are reading in our lesson. Yes, like his, this story, you have, you also be like a Aruni. You, you will be like a what? Obedient student and devoted student to Guru. Yes, thus Aruni stands as an example for a good student. He is one of the good student to his Guru Dhaumya. Yes, like who is the student of Parashurama? Karna is student of Parashurama. He is one of the what? Obedient student and he is famous for his devotion and Patience. Here Aruni famous for his devotion and obedience towards the Guru. Still also we are remembering in the, from the epics of Mahabharata. Still also we are remembering their devotion and obedience. You will also be student like Karna and Aruni. You got it? This story with meaning I told you. Yes, uh, some examples I have given you. Meaning I told you, you got it. I, I am assuring, assuring that you got the lesson. Thank you once again. In next class, I will continue. Thank you.